Um, it wasn't under the steps. It was in the kitchen. And oh. it was just it was just one phone that was pretty much monopolized by my mother. Yeah. You know, you, you, didn't, you, know, you didn't go on the telephone. You wanted to see your friend. You got on your bike and you went and you saw your friend. It was uh, just uh, right because you're growing up in the age of the dinosaur. It's just very, very different. But you know what? I'm proud that I grew up in small town Canada with the dinosaurs because I think I mm. learned the importance of being a leader, not a mm. follower, and having respect for others. Powerful words. So this essence of you, Sharon, yes, sir. is being transmitted through your thoughts, beliefs, and standards to every mm. child you teach. And not just every child you teach, but every child that that child says to a friend, oh, I heard this today. Ooh. Well, anyone who knows me knows that I'm a voracious reader. I love to read to the children. I love to sing to the children. And the people who really, really know me know that I want to take this to the children who are in hospitals, mm. children who are ill at home. I am both, my notch, my dreams are very high. And I want to transmit all of this mm. to children and bring them a modicum of joy. When you say very high, uh, how many children do you intend to positively affect in the next 18 months? You know what? It's up to the Lord. And we're going to Indeed. see what kind of platform the Lord is going to open up for me. I'm very, very active on LinkedIn. I post regularly so people do know what I'm trying to do. I would love to reach out to children everywhere in this world. Who doesn't want to hear a good book? Who Absolutely. Doesn't want, who doesn't want to hear a sweet song? COVID is depends not... Depends what your singing's like, though. I'm sorry? It depends what your singing's like. Well, my children in school so far have not put their hands to their ears. Well, but yeah, they... but you see, you told us earlier oh. that when they came to you, they had no language and can't do Wait, anything but no. crawl around. Yeah. So are you subjecting them? Is that is that the truth of the matter? I'm for, am I for to bring them? My okay, fair enough. A couple of things then that you'll both, um, as a voracious reader, now In Inga, do you get a chance to read much at all? Any for pleasure? Um, I haven't recently, no. Um, would you consume life on an, of an entrepreneur? Absolutely. <laughs> would you consume material as an ebook, an um, audio book? Yes, I, I do. Good. Do. Okay, so I'm just in the last 20 pages of this, which you can't see because the writing's white on yellow. Literally, anyone who's colorblind, that just looked like a piece of paper. Um, <laughs> the book is called The Top Five Regrets of the Dying. And oh. it's, I know, and oh, it's no. about this 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 woman who led a, a nomadic lifestyle across uh, Australia, house sitting sometimes, other times helping uh, with in the palliative care stages. And what you, Sharon, were saying about being a leader um, and being true to who you are, Inga, that is one of the it's two of the two of the regrets is oh i wish i had the confidence be, to be myself and i wish i'd had the confidence to pursue my passion so leadership and identity so this is by Bronnie ware yes i found it on found audio it. good audio. excellent you will love it um then uh, I did a post about it the other day, but I'll tell you anyway. There's a book called Scam Me If You Can. You know the movie Catch Me If You Can, Leonardo yeah. DiCaprio? Okay, it is written by the bloke who that is based on. 